With our Thanksgiving Day feast just around the corner, Mother Nature looks to bring some winter chill back to parts of the U.S. Just how cold will the temperatures go? Find out that and more in today's report. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Weather Nerds YouTube page. I'm meteorologist Greg Majeski, and before we get started today, I first want to personally thank the 366 subscribers new to this channel. And for the 98% of you who have not quite subscribed just yet, please consider subscribing. It'd be an honor to kind of help you out with your weather planning needs. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we're expecting for next week as we're looking at the Climate Prediction Center outlook here for days 6 through 10. This is November 20th through the 24th as we're looking at some cooler temperatures returning here across uh, the eastern third of the United States, even down toward Texas. So from New England down toward Texas and still remaining a bit on the warm side out here on the west coast with some warm weather out in California especially. And it looks like this trend will continue us straight into the rest of the month as we're looking at days 8 through 14 you continue to see that cold air kind of uh, kind of building across pretty much the eastern two-thirds of the United States as we're going to get some colder air to kind of funnel in out of Canada here across the country and it's just a question of how cold that temperature is going to get. So let's go ahead and take a look at the 850 millibar level about 5,000 feet and track that cold air. Now I like using the 850 level because that's the best way to kind of track the cold air without the natural fluctuations with the daytime heating. So you can kind of get the depth of the cold air and kind of track it. And as you take a look at the Northeast right now, that is where the coldest temperatures are sitting as of today on November the 15th at the time of this recording. Now, as I go ahead and step you through this, you got what you're gonna watch slowly is that there's another shot that's gonna come down over the weekend. This is going into uh, Saturday and into Sunday. So we got Sunday morning, you got, got a pretty nice little uh, chill there across the northeast, but the bulk of the country, I mean, it's warm all the way up into Canada, really looking at uh, some pretty warm temperatures, but that's not going to last as we're going to see things begin to evolve here, is we're going to watch a storm system develop in the, in the middle of the country, and it's going to kind of pull down some of that colder air as we head into Tuesday morning. You can see this very clearly here on this map. You tap in some of that cold air kind of wrapping in behind an area of low pressure uh, that's going to be sitting across the Midwest there and funneling in that colder air for Tuesday. And that'll also continue into Wednesday. As I step into Wednesday morning, you can see that cold air really kind of funneling across the Great Lakes and uh, funneling it into the deep south. Uh, out west, though, where they're expecting that warm weather, yeah, California, Nevada, you're going to stay on the warm side. And as we head into Thanksgiving Day, well, it looks like that uh, cold air begins to retreat just a little bit as we head into Thanksgiving Day. Very cold across in blustery conditions. Looks like across Minnesota, stretching over toward uh, New England with the coldest of air there. And then as we go to the end of this model run, you can see it just kind of settles in across the northern portion of the United States. Now we're going to shift over to the GFS model to take us beyond the 10 day and take you out to the end of the month and track the potential for another cold shot coming down. So shifting gears over to the American GFS model, uh, this one pretty much lines up very closely to the European model from this day. We're going to take this straight into the end of the month and what we're going to be watching is this area of low pressure up here is uh, kind of getting stronger and we're going to see a flow that's going to kind of rotate some cold air down into the middle of the country and you can see this uh, very clearly as I step you through time here uh, going into probably a very busy uh, holiday shopping weekend uh, Black Friday and all that kind of thing you can see this cold air really starting to dive down this is late on Saturday and getting into Sunday morning this is on November the 26th so you can clearly see yeah we got a cold front here a pretty sharp one you got a cold cold front right through there you got a warm front uh, right through here as that cold air is going to be funneling in into the deep south so uh, many locations are going to get quite cold uh, some lay areas probably the coldest temperatures of the season thus far and I'll go ahead and step you through this again the rest of the period here going into Monday morning as folks head back to work and definitely going to be needing a lot of sweaters and jackets over a big portion of the country here with this cold air settling in place. Uh, you got the freezing line sitting way down here to the south. So again, it's going to be quite nippy and quite cold uh, for many locations. And as I go ahead and take this the model here uh, straight out to the end of its run, you see it begins to shift a little bit to the east a little bit. It starts to moderate a little bit out toward the west, but uh, the eastern third of the country definitely looking quite cold. 
Let's take a specific look at what you can expect on Thanksgiving Day as far as temperature and precipitation. So going back to the European model, we're going to take a look at Thanksgiving Day that morning. And boy, it's looking great across the country. Uh, yeah, we got some cold air across the northern tier. That's where the coldest of the air is. We've got uh, one little system out here on the west coast giving us some rains here across Oregon and Washington, but otherwise looking pretty good. Now, as I go ahead and progress this a couple frames forward, this is the middle of the day on Thanksgiving Day, and the end of the day, uh, we might see some lake effect snows here start to kick off a little bit across the Great Lakes uh, a little bit, and then the storm system out west moves in a little bit into Montana with some snows and still some rains across Washington and Oregon. Uh, very light at that, but otherwise, the whole country is looking very good for Thanksgiving Day. Looking ahead at Thanksgiving morning, as far as temperatures are concerned, yeah, they're going to be a bit on the cool side as we've got a lot of 30s here across the deep south. And anywhere you see that blue, that's kind of sub-freezing temperatures. Definitely quite cold here across the upper plains. And as far as the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is concerned, looks like temperatures here will be sitting into the upper 30s for Thanksgiving Day. As I go ahead and progress for the afternoon, uh, really kind of still looking kind of cold across the northern tier, that's for sure, as you're seeing sub-freezing temperatures up here. Uh, the southeast, mostly looking into the 50s and across most of the area, kind of warming us out in the cord California, you see temperatures well into the 60s there. And as we wrap up Thanksgiving Day, you see things begin to cool back off again as we head toward midnight. And finally, taking a look at the precipitation outlook here from the Climate Prediction Center for getting into Thanksgiving week. We will have some rain kind of moving across the country before Thanksgiving, before things do dry out. Uh, we're seeing above normal precipitation here across the southeast where they desperately need it. And drier conditions out here toward the west. That's from November 20th through the 24th. And of course, as I showed you with that reinforcing shot of colder air that's going to be coming down, yeah, of course, we're always going to have some drier conditions with that as well, especially around the Great Lakes with the drier weather and continuing out here on the West Coast as well. And that basically takes you from November 22nd to the 20th or basically right out to the end of the month of November. Hey, please do me a favor. If you could, please hit the subscribe button if you like what you see and give me that uh, thumbs up and hit that notification bell for future updates. And if you got a comment or something, please leave it down below. If you got any recommendations or things you'd like to see, I would like to see that as well. That's your update for today. You guys take it easy. See you next time.